In this video, I'm going to show you something really cool. Now, this is really going to apply to people that have a website where they have customers or someone logging into the site. And what it's going to allow you to do is uh, you have your navigation bar. So I've got this navigation right here in the top right. It's going to allow you to decide which navigation links are, are viewable based upon or, or appear, sorry, appear based upon whether someone's logged in or logged out. So for instance, there are certain navigation menu links that only really make sense if someone's logged in and a customer, right? And then there's certain uh, links that only make sense if someone, um, uh, well, doesn't make sense to someone that's logged in and is a customer. So for instance, say you're selling a course on your website, a learning course, and I've got some videos coming up on that. And you have a buy now button as a menu link. Well, if someone's already bought, it makes no sense when they're logged in for them to see that button. Okay, so um, that's one example uh, of what I'm talking about. Um, so uh, another option, another thought with that is if you have a log in button in your navigation menu. Well, if someone's already logged in, why are you still showing them a logged in button? So that's another example. Um, I worked on a project with someone last month where we built an entire client portal for a company and we leveraged this little trick a lot for that so people would see what makes sense when they're not logged in and then they would see something different that made sense when they were logged in. I'm gonna show you how to do it, it's real simple. So I'm in the back end of my WordPress site. I'm gonna to go to plugins, then add new. And right here, I'm gonna search for nav menu roles. Nav, M-E-N-U, nav menu roles. I'm gonna hit enter and pop, there it is. Nav menu roles, you can see it's uh, installed on actively being used on 60,000 sites. Well, over 60,000. I clicked install and now I'm gonna click on activate. Now I'm going to jump over to appearance and then menus. Now what's going to happen is we're going to have extra options for each menu item. So I'm at that menu right here. It's the menu right there. So let's go and let's expand one of these items. So say for instance, my courses. I don't want my courses to show when someone's not logged in. I want this to show when they are logged in. So let's go ahead and expand the options. And now you can see we have this display mode. I can show this to logged in users or only logged out users, or I can show to everyone. So my courses would be more of like a logged in user. And then you can even restrict it even further um, by the user type. So we'll just leave that the way that it is. Okay, and then purchase, um, let's only show that to logged out users, people that aren't already logged in because it's assumed that if they were logged in, they've already purchased. Okay, so I'm gonna change it to that and then I'm gonna go like this and then let's click on save menu. Now I am actually logged in, so we're gonna see what someone would see when it's logged in. Now keep, keep an eye on here, we've got these four links I'm going to do my refresh and see it's reduced. So the purchases disappeared because I'm logged in and it's assumed that I've already purchased. Now, if I'm going to go ahead and log out and we're going to see um, my courses disappear and then we're going to see purchase reappear. So let's see, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to go log out. And then let's go back to the home page and see my courses disappeared and now I've got the purchase option. So this tool, this little plugin is so handy and useful if you're building any kind of site that you're selling e-commerce, e you're selling something or a course or a membership or anything where someone's gonna log in and it doesn't make sense to show them the same menu items. 
Yes, you made it to the end of the video, which must mean that it brought value to you. So can you go ahead and click on the thumbs up down below? That'll help me out. And if you want more videos like this, be sure to click on the subscribe button right down below me. Now, if you want to find me on the internet, I've got a special Facebook group that I set up for people just like you that want answers to their WordPress website. And that's where you can find me, interact with me, and ask me questions. So go ahead and click on the the blue button down below to join that special Facebook group. Now, I never want you to leave empty handed, so I've created a free video course for you called the Three Steps to WordPress Success. In this video course, you're going to really learn how to make your website shine, get the results that you want, and have it really stand out from the crowd. So to access that free video course, go ahead and click on the link over here on the right. You can also find me at wpcrafter.com. Make sure you check out my 60 minute website challenges. Those are very popular and you can find those on the website as well. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I make these videos just for you and I hope you watch the next one.